Hello, just Jaden here. Thanks for checking out my latest tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to check out customizing Retrobat. So some of you might be direct from my Retrobat installation video in the basic setup. But this tutorial is going to cover different options to customize your Retrobat uh, graphical user interface. So I'm talking using your controller, setting up your controller. I'm looking at adding your own music as your background music. And I'm also going to be looking at making your themes look better or just customizing them to how you want. So let's check this video out. So this video is assuming you've already installed Retrobat. Check out my Retrobat installation, which is in my playlist in Unbelievably Simple. So I'm going to just go ahead and fire up Retrobat now. We're going to get straight to it. Okay, so first things first, let's check out how to change your controller settings. So for some of you out there, uh, some of your buttons might be working on your controller after your installation or Retrobat. Uh, some buttons might not be working. Uh, more often than the case, they're not working. Not all of them's corresponding with your actions. So what you need to do in this case is if we just go to controller settings and if we go to controller mapping and it's going to give you a little warning here so just bypass that and the first thing we need to do for it to recognize our controller is keep our finger on a button and you will get the configuration menu rather. So east corresponds on my controller is circle, south is x, north is triangle, west is square and you kind of get the idea from there where this is going uh, d-pad left d-pad right left shoulder and so on and so forth so continue configuring your buttons now your hot key is the most important key in my case i'm going to just use r2 for this tutorial uh, your hot key is essentially your exit button from playing games so it's very important you perhaps use a button which you never use on your game so like i say configure that to however you want in my case for just a simplified uh, way of doing this tutorial i'm just going to keep this as r2 now we go to ok So that's our controller now set up. So the next thing I'm gonna look at is customizing your themes. So customizing your themes, all we're going to do is press start and we're gonna to go to user interface settings. If we go here, we'll see theme set. I've got two theme sets, one I've downloaded, which is a CCAL book, and the other one is emulation station theme carbon, which is a standard default theme. So first thing is, if you want to download new themes using the Retrobat GUI, if we just go to Updates and Downloads, go to Themes. From here, it will show you that I've indeed got CCAL Book installed. But if we go to All, we'll have many different themes here we can download. And to download these, all you're going to do is just simply press, in my case, Circle and Install. And you'll see downloading at the top. So once this is installed, it will say so at the top. It will then go on to the extraction process. So just wait around a minute for this one to download. Now the problem is with some themes is that not all your systems are going to allow the themes to cover them. So for example, if you download a particular theme, it might not have the icons for certain systems. So be aware of that. The reason I use CCAL Book is that it does cover all the systems with artwork and icons, that type of thing, where the huge majority of them. Okay, so let's just move on to this. So uh, to customize your themes, like I say, I'm using CCAL Book. I'm gonna just go to user interface and make sure you've got the right one selected, which I say to CCAL Book. I'm gonna go to theme configuration. And from here, we have a game list view style. Now, right now, my game list style looks like this. So to change this, just go to user interface settings again, theme configuration, and this one corresponds with your game list view style. So we got different options here to customize this one. So for example, I'm gonna just go to logo and details. I'm gonna back out of this. It looks a lot different now. So there's a lot of options there to play with. And if I want to go back into that again to change it, I just go to user interface, theme configuration, 
and I just go back to game this view style and I just mess around with that as much as I want. So carousel. Back out. And there we go. So we got a huge variety of different styles how we want our retro back to look. Really cool, cool stuff there. So let's go back to user interface settings, theme configuration, and you've got lots of different options here. We got the default grid size. So if we just perhaps say select for this tutorial example, two by five, back out. Your icons for your games are now looking a lot smaller. So obviously a bit too small. So I'm gonna go back to user interface settings, theme configuration, default grid size for these box arts. And I'm gonna just set it to one by one, back out. And there we go, so it's a much bigger scale now in size. So that's about it for the customization of themes. And there's a hell of a lot there for you to look at. Okay, another thing you might be interested in is adding your own music. Maybe you've got sick to death of listening to that same music in the background, the default standard five songs. So easy, all you need to do to this is exit your retro back. So to do this, be sure you have a song which is in MP3 file format. I've got a copy of my all-time favourite 80s song, which is Blue Monday by the awesome Manchester band New Order. So in order to change the music in Retrobat, all we're going to do is just go into the installation directory of Retrobat. We're going to go into the subfolder Emulation Station, double left click. Your next subfolder is dot emulation station, double left click on that. And finally we have music subfolder, double left click on that. So I've already got my Blue Monday MP3 file inside this folder, but I'm going to just do it again, drag and drop, and I'm going to replace. Now, if we go back to Retrobat again, so let's listen to New Order, which I've just put into the music folder. If we just go to select and skip to next song, and again, we can now see and we can hear Blue Monday, the perfect 8-ish song which works really well with these retro games. So that's about it for this tutorial. So in this tutorial, hopefully I've got you working your controller and to your specifications on that. I've got you looking at putting your own music to retro back. Listen to that. And I've also got you looking at customizations in downloading new themes. So check out my other installation video of Retrobat, which is quite a popular one. I've also done a whole host of other uh, standalone emulator tutorials. And also be sure to like and subscribe. See you later.